Hi there, Halu here. On February 19th, 2024, I took my girlfriend to her bestie's house and stopped by Tokyo Central. Since that was the only place I could find the green tea with ginseng and lychee flavored Hawaiian sun, got myself a six pack, then I was off to get a haircut. My new usual spot, cool cuts, does a pretty good job, especially since I don't really care how my hair looks. Fast forward to later that night. We had dinner plans with my cousin, but made a quick stop at the mall for a photo booth session. We hung out at my cousin's for a bit, played some Scrabble, and visited my niece and nephew, Charlotte and Archie. <laughs> My cousin and her husband took us to Bakari in Sherman Oaks, known for their small shareable tapas. I like hanging out with my cousin because she gives me a taste of what it's like to fine dine. We got for the table the burrata caprice, glazed pork belly, shawarma tacos, smoked mushroom pizza, and a grilled sea bass. My god, I love fine dining. I also got this cocktail by name of the Confidant, which came with tequila and mezcal, and it had this black grainy line of something. I didn't know if it was salt or charcoal, but it was a pretty good drink nonetheless. On February 20th, 2024, my girlfriend and I had one last date before her departure back home. We started off our night with our favorite, Jollibees. Yeah. Here. <laughs> then we went to the pool hall to play some eight ball. <laughs> I had to show her the ropes a bit, but she caught on pretty quickly. Actually, maybe not as much as I remember. Hi there, it is Wednesday, February 21st. And it's actually been a while since I've done this. Uh, as you know, I went on vacation with my girlfriend. We went to Hawaii, we did all that. You can check the previous videos for those. Uh, that footage um, and, and content, that was a great time. Um, but today is the last day my girlfriend is gonna be here. I'm gonna take her to the airport right after work. But what this means is that I'm going to start working back on my routine again, which is waking up early to try to work on more of my passion projects, to go to the gym, and um, just focus on getting back to what I was trying to accomplish of uh, my day-to-day -day tasks. Um, <clears throat> as, you, as I mentioned from like the previous videos, um, trying to balance all of that was um, a little work. Um, and I tried, but ultimately I felt that it was more uh, valuable to spend time with my girlfriend during that time uh, that she was here and then with also with family and just kind of um, enjoy myself and enjoy, enjoy life with them as opposed to trying to make work happen between these two things. Um, but yeah, I am back in my car. It's lunchtime. I am eating some broccoli, some cow yolk, and some rice. Cow yolk is like this like fatty pork that my mom first fries and then she like steams it with like preserved vegetables and whatnot. Um, but yeah, work's been chill, work's been good, and pretty pretty normal, I would say. A little bit busy, but like nothing too hectic. Coming back to work yesterday was uh, really fine and it just felt natural to be doing all the tasks that I usually do. Um, I just caught a call 
from one of my friend's friends, uh, I guess partner, and they work on uh, trying to build on this like trading investment. They offer programs as to you know how to um, really just teach people and individuals how to trade. But he said that he also partnered with this other company that helps with funding. Um, so I'm going to give him some time of day tomorrow. We set up an appointment for after work at 6 p.m. tomorrow. And I'm just going to I'm just going to listen to what he has to say about how having to build some funding, some capital and raising that. Because <clears throat> um, there's a lot of things about money that I don't understand that a lot of other people do understand and my ultimate goal with having to having money is just to be able to work on my passion projects and and things that i want to do without having to worry about money being uh, a hindrance so like having to go to my nine to five job work eight hours a day plus the one hour for break and um i just want to stay at home and, and work on some cool shit instead of like having to come to work um so i'm open to hearing him out seeing what he can do for me seeing what i can achieve for myself um but yeah we're gonna go through the rest of this week just trying to get back on our schedule trying to regain some of that momentum and um yeah i'm gonna go enjoy my life but alas february 21st 2024 brought a bittersweet farewell as I bid adieu to my girlfriend. I came home to her to-do list for me and started checking them off one by one. I definitely had some tears flowing that day. It is uh, February 22nd, Thursday at 1 p.m. I am in my car eating lunch. Today I have some rice and pai kuat, which is spare ribs, with some steamed vegetables, tofu, and boiled eggs. Here it is. I had a terrible morning today. I left my house, and as soon as I did, I hit traffic on the way to work. It took me about 40 minutes just to get to work, but it usually takes me like 10 to 15. Terrible morning. But also, on the way, I picked up my yerba mate. It fell that way, upside down, on my rug. Kept spilling as I picked it up and realized it was upside down. And now I just have a sticky bottom part of my car where my feet go. I don't like it, but I went into my work and took the rug and just kind of like rinsed it off. Hopefully it's gonna be less sticky currently uh, drying it outside right now. But uh, yeah, yesterday I didn't do too much after work. I dropped off my girlfriend, very sad. Got home and I was just pooped. Uh, ate dinner, did some finance, and it was already like 10.30 by that time. So I just played a little games and decided to go to sleep. Yeah, because I was so tired, I, ate, I didn't even get up this morning at 5 a.m. I could not start my routine. I failed today, but that's okay. Tomorrow I will be getting up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym. I just feel a little bit more motivated because I get to actually leave the house for the gym as opposed to just hopping on my computer to do like 3D work. But because I get to leave the house, it just feels a little bit more like I have a reason to get up. Yeah, I didn't do it today. I will tomorrow I'll try again. But uh, yeah, tonight after work, hopefully just organize all the footage and files that I got from my girlfriend and mine put my 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 girlfriend and i's phone and just start organizing all the vlog content to put together but there's a lot of work ahead of me and first but first we're going to eat. eat good morning it is friday february 23rd uh, it's about 7 a.m i just finished with the gym actually got up at five o'clock for once and yeah, it's starting to build momentum again. I am getting back in the mood. Getting up wasn't too difficult today. I did sleep a little late, just a little bit before 11 a.m. Uh, or 11 p.m. at night. And um, yeah, I feel pretty refreshed and good to go. I spoke with the guy yesterday that kind of wanted to introduce me to some new ideas about funding. And pretty much he's offering a program. It's like a four-month program that 
helps me create a blueprint for my personal finance. And what that entails is helping me create an LLC, which is pretty much a business license, I believe, and helping me apply for 0% interest credit cards. Now, what I would be doing with these credit cards is liquidating the credit into cash, then putting it into any sort of investments that I wanted to make. And for my example, I wanted to get a little bit into day trading to try to produce some faster income with some day trading. There's so many like different opinions and perceptions on day trading. A lot of people say like it's not something to do, it's not something for everyone. I agree, it's not something that is like really desired or valued as a job, but I'm just, I'm not tired of my job, I'm just tired of going to work every day and not putting my effort and time into creating art the way that I want to. Having to even make sacrifices to wake up at like 5 a.m. just to do a little bit of like work in the morning. I just want more time in my day and be able to be a little bit more free and give myself some more breathing room. And I feel like this is one of the ways that I can do it. I am open to trying it, but I do have some bills and expenses that I do need to take care of first. So I'm not ready to start with what he was offering, but I let him know that I will be contacting him when I am ready. That's a new venture that I've been getting into. I don't want something like this to take over the time and routine that I've already made for myself. So I also need to find a way to incorporate that into my schedule, which is why I wasn't able to say yes on the go. Um, and I think it is important for any big decision, especially if it was a financial decision, to just not say yes to a good idea off the bat. I think people should do some research before going into anything that is like new to them or, or kind of still foreign of an idea to them. Went to the gym this morning, wasn't too bad, did some like shoulder and upper back work. Went into the sauna to just like let off some steam. Yeah, now I'm headed back to my house to get ready for work. Today should be a good day. It's Friday. We're gonna eat good. Uh, either Thai food or pokey. Either one sounds good to me. Let's just see how the rest of the day goes. For lunch, my coworkers and I got pokey. I think I could actually eat pokey every day. It's so good. Even this pokey was way better than Waikiki's Maguro spot. After work, I got together with my friend to stream a DJ set on TikTok. He's pretty funny when it comes to interacting with his viewers. Devil girl, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna give it a seven. You look so cute in that dress. Alina, I think Golden Hour was made for you. I'm gonna give it an eight. J to J, bad. Nicole, you are so cute. I love the hair, I'm gonna give it a seven. Dana, what is up? That hair is luscious, curled, and glowing. I gotta give it an eight. Make sure y'all hit comment on the stream and shit. You know, you know the vibes. Hi there, good afternoon. Today is February 24th, 2024, Saturday. A little over 1 p.m. It is lunchtime and today I brought fried rice. Um, my mom went to a party yesterday and usually, if you've ever been to an Asian like party, they usually don't eat the fried rice or like a table leaves a fried rice kind of just half eaten because everyone's full by then. I don't understand why they serve fried rice at the end of like the course meals at these like Asian parties. Shouldn't rice go with like all the entrees? Anyways, that's what I have. But I also ordered some Howlin' Rays, which is a pretty known uh, fried chicken spot in Los Angeles uh, from their location in, uh, what's it called, uh, Chinatown? I got a sando and I'm excited to get into this. Look at this piece of chicken, just massive. Uh, my coworker also gave me some fries. Thank her for that. Um, but yeah, today at work has been pretty chill. Um, not much going on, pretty relaxing. I just got to talking with um, the security guard, which I'm cool with here about some of those like financial struggles and just life issues that we've experienced in our time and brought to him this idea that I've been talking to this guy about um, leveraging credit cards using it as capital and investment and making like investments for day trading 
and he kind of just shared his opinion on that with me um but in addition to that like the idea of leveraging a credit card with zero percent interest to buy things for a business isn't too bad of an idea because there's things that i want to do such as like buy a 3d printer and start making 3d printables whether for utility usage or like just fun figurines to sell that in itself is something that i also want to do but the idea of like saving up for these things just takes a little longer when i could be trying to make a profit for it now or trying to make a return on my investment for it now so i was just like really just thinking about all these different like business concepts yeah just this, this is what has been in my head as of lately just trying to figure out other ways of uh, acquiring wealth um, at a quicker rate because i just need to find something to supplement this current day job i need to find something that allows me the free time to work on my craft my passion really just build out my portfolio for presenting it to studios and that's all i really want to do but man life gets in the way money gets in the way time gets sucked up and all that and it sucks it honestly really really does suck nonetheless i did work on 3d today i got up at 4 30 in the morning took me like 20 minutes to get out of bed and get ready for the day wash my face brush my teeth that kind of stuff and i worked on um a uh, ghostbusters trap for about an hour 30 only to find out that maya crashed and uh i lost maybe like 75 percent of the work i did which isn't too bad i know how to do these things already and i can do them again quickly so no problem there but i'm glad i actually put an effort because anytime i don't do 3d for a while it gets a little bit more intimidating but then i jump back into it and it's fun again and i love doing it and i know how to do certain things that uh, a beginner would not know how to do so i have fun with it i just need more time in the day i need a day off where i can just work on it but even on my days off i have other projects and other things to attend to and I, yeah, it just kind of gets sidetracked so um yeah i need to uh build uh continue up with this momentum of waking up early as i have for the past two days and just kind of keep going at it but yeah that's how my day's going i'm gonna go eat this lunch and uh Probably later tonight after work, I'm gonna go work on the vlogs that are very much delayed, but I am working on it. So thank you for being patient. For dinner, I made birria ramen. I've been seeing more advertisements for it and I wanted to try it and see how the combination tasted. It was okay. Uh, I don't really think I would eat it that often. Sunday, February 25th was a cool day. I went over to my coworker's place for a barbecue. His home was beautiful. I could definitely imagine myself having a place like this. He showed us his gun collection. Give me the code! I'm down for it, okay? Where are you going to? Got the oh, laser on there. Oh, the Only see this in the games. I know! It's like, play a game where I could have stumbled it's, it's got a red dot on it, too. Yeah. Are you the only one that looks like holding a gun and looks like holding a toy? <laughs> then we shot some BB guns at some targets. And let's just say, my aim is left much to be desired. That was all for the week of February 18th. Thanks for joining us and hollow at you later.